Want to win your very own PS5? Find these five Easter eggs hidden somewhere in this video and comment where they are. And include your Twitter or Instagram handle in that comment. And I will be randomly picking a winner 30 days from today. Yes, you can enter as many times as you want. Each comment with all the correct locations counts as an entry. Now let's get on with the show. Spoiler ahead, don't complain or you'll end up dead. As we learn all the Easter eggs in Seoul, let's start off in the classroom. The opening shot shows a paper airplane flying across the room. But then we see no one through the plane, so it's like the paper plane had a life of its own. Like the paper plane from Disney short, Paper Man. Now our main character is Joe, and Joe is expertly voiced by Jamie Foxx. And Joe is a huge fan of some of the great musicians that paved the road for jazz, like Louis Armstrong. We also see a poster of Louis and Joe's classroom on the wall. And Louis Armstrong was a big part of Disney. He even performed at Disneyland with Walt Disney himself. Another inspiration to Joe is Ray Charles. His mom at one point says Ray would be very proud of him. Ray would have been so proud of you, baby. Now this could be referencing to his dad. Uh, Joe is Ray Gardner's son. Or referencing to the famous musician Ray Charles, who was also playing a piano. Of course, he also has a photo of Ray Charles in the classroom. And did you know what? Jamie Foxx, who voiced Joe, also played as the character Ray in the movie Ray! It's even possible this is a photo of Jamie Foxx when he was pretending to be Ray and not actually Ray. Hey, Dorothea, this is the cat I was telling you about. No, 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 no. I'm in the cat, 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 cat. Did you see the pizza plant truck? When we're not dead, but we haven't yet lived, there is something called the Hall of Everything. In that, we find the pizza plant truck. In fact, it looks like the truck shows up twice in there. No, Harry, no! Don't look at the light! I can't help it. It's so beautiful. Then remember the girl from Inside Out that served the broccoli pizza? Congratulations, San Francisco. Give her own pizza. First the Hawaiians, and now you. We see broccoli pizza right there. Okay, I get it. But what's weird is apparently this soul doesn't die either. I don't know. Maybe it's like Joe. Because later on, we clearly see the soul spaced out. Beats the dream about the walrus? That would be a very weird dream. And in the weird movie of Disney's 1951st Alice in Wonderland, there was a dream about the walrus and the carpenter, where the walrus ate all the happy baby little oysters. I think they're oysters. <laughs> A113! Then we have the rat carrying pizza. This is a reference to a real life video of a rat carrying a slice of pizza down into the subway because New York City is disgusting. There's more famous pizza Easter eggs, but first let's look at some newer Easter eggs. Pixar likes puns, and here we have Jimmy Shoops, which is clearly a play on the famous store Jimmy Choo. Or Shoop. I don't know, I can't afford to shop there. The Half Note was also a real place in real life. Inside Labas, the lamp right here looks like the Luxo lamp. And maybe it is, maybe it's not. But in the Hall of Everything, this is definitely the Luxo lamp. Doo -doo -doo. Also, in the credits, we have a bunch of souls playing around. And at one point, watch this soul. They jump on another soul, just like the Luxo lamp jumps on the eye in the Pixar logo. Easter egg. Pixar also usually has a part in the credits called Production Babies, celebrating all the children that Pixar employees had during the making of the movie. This time, instead, they called them the Recent You Seminar Graduates, because they're new souls entering the Earth. Clever girl. At the very end of the credits, Terry shows up to a post credit scene and tells everyone to get lost. Hi! Movie's over! Go home! But just like Joe, the life of the Easter eggs is not over yet. There's a lot more to uncover here. Remember the famous Chinese takeout boxes we see in many Pixar movies like Monsters Inc. or Bugs Life or Inside Out? Well, we see the box in Seoul too, right here. Then again, right here. And stay away! Then look at the trash on the ground. T -t 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 uh, trash. Trash! <laughs> That's right, even the trash in Pixar is an Easter egg. That's a cup. That's a cup.
Basica from Poultry Palace. Po -po -po Poultry Palace. <laughs> this guy right here is probably Richard Aoud, who voices one of the Jerry's. This energy drink also looks like the one from the gas station and onward, but they do have different lids. And the sports drink looks like it says Q-U-E-Q. -E Maybe it's one of the Quest 5 drinks we find in Onward. Speaking of branding, if you remember in Inside Out, Riley moved to San Francisco because her dad was working for a company called Brang. If you look inside the subway car, you will see a poster for Brang. You really should call Lisa again. I don't really have time for a relationship right now. So who's Lisa? Watch this. Steve Jobs was one of the founders of Pixar, and they gave him credit several times in their earlier films. And just like Steve Jobs was a big part of making Pixar, he was also the one who made Apple. Then he got fired from Apple, but in the end, got hired back to work at Apple. Joe is alive and gets fired from Earth, then eventually gets to go back to Earth. And Steve Jobs and Joe both like to wear black turtlenecks like this. And if you watched the movie Steve Jobs or read about him, you will know he had a daughter and he struggled to have a relationship with her. My dad named the computer after me. I'm not your... But he did end up naming one of the Apple computers after her. Of course it was named after you. And her name happens to be Lisa. Okay, let's look at the Hall of Everything because basically the entire hall is an Easter egg. We have two souls in a little red dinghy boat, just like in Finding Dory. We also have a whale floating in the sky, just like the one hung from the ceiling in the part of the exhibit where Dory lived. Then if you look in the sky, you will see one of the planes from Up, along with a blimp. Then look at this. We have two souls playing chess. This is a reference to Jerry from Jerry's Game. And I know what you're thinking, Jerry was only the same person in both seats. But I thought about this a lot, and this is what I think. I think Jerry was a twin. And when he visited the Hall of Everything, him and his twin both loved chess very, very much. And he's really, really old, and it's likely his twin probably died. That's why in Jerry's Game, he has so much fun playing chess with essentially himself because it reminds him of when he played chess with his twin. And if he was playing chess with his twin, it would be like he was looking at himself. So playing chess with himself is like playing chess with a twin. <laughs> and you're welcome for explaining that theory without dragging it out in its own separate 15 minute video before finally getting to the point. You're welcome. Then we have Big Ben, where Mater was captured, or this Chinese building, for reference back to Cars 2. Then two souls on top of a cliff overlooking a valley. Maybe this is Cars. If you look at this happy little soul, it hits a perfect bullseye just like Merida did in Brave. Then the shark is probably a call to Bruce from Finding Nemo. Remember that statue that I pointed out in Incredibles 2? Well, it found its way here into the Hall of Everything. Then this soul really likes taking pictures, just like Carl's wife, Ellie, from Up. Look, it's a horse from a merry-go-round. Or from Wally. -E. Then look at the canoe. Pixar made a short called Loop that you can see on Disney Plus, and that was about two souls in a canoe. The Princess Castle looks like the one from Riley's imagination. The playground here looks like it's from Toy Story 4. Then the Ferris wheel is probably from Toy Story 4. And because Pete Doctor is co-director and because Inside Out is one of his greatest achievements, obviously this is why we see so much stuff from Inside Out. Not to mention, even though we're mentioning, in Inside Out, Bing Bong had a flower. And he was such an inspirational character that Pixar made a special pin for him that basically they gave out to all the employees that worked on the movie. I think it's too much of a coincidence to not point out that I think the badges that the future souls are earning resembles this pen way too much. If you've ever been to college or research college, then you know that the format is often like this. First you take English 101, then you take English 201. The hundredth number goes up by one. So we all know the famous A113 based off of a real classroom at Cal Arts. So this is B213, the level two Easter egg for A113. Congratulations for getting promoted. 22. So then what's the point of the Soul 22 being named 22? Well, actually, there's a lot of reasons to pick from. One of the more obvious reasons would be because there have been 22 feature films that Pixar released prior to Soul, with Soul being their 23rd featured film, even though it didn't go to theater. Or there's also been 22 movies exactly that John Ratzenberg actually had his voice in the movie. Except they didn't put his voice in this movie. Pathetic. They did, however, have a cameo of him in the subway terminal. But he was one of their good luck charms, and I think it's bad luck to not have his actual voice in the movie. 
I mean, how hard would it have been to have him turn around and be like, oh no, or what are you doing? Or did I just see that? Like there's a hundred things they could have had him turn around and say to get his voice. What's the deal, Pixar? Do you need money? Can you not afford to hire him to say five words or three words or one word? And even though Pixar said Ratzenberger's voice is not in the movie and only his likeness, you can call me crazy, but I think this guy's voice is the voice of John Ratzenberger. Hey, take it easy, yeah? But anyways, 22. Also, 22 is torn between not wanting to go to Earth because she doesn't know what Earth is gonna be like, but she won't know what Earth is gonna be like until she goes down to Earth. That's what we call in the industry a catch 22. Also, PX22 probably stands for Pixar 22. Another moment we see with 22 is the soul is often very negative with their view on life. And the longer they are on Earth, the more the soul begins to feel alive. There's often a psychology question that your therapist will ask you while you're sitting on the couch if you see the glass half empty or half full. We see the turning point for 22 on the train when she finally sees the glass is half full, showing that she is now an optimist and no longer a pessimist. Can you believe it? It's still half full. <laughs> also another Easter egg on the train is the train number is 2319 or 2319. Remember 2319 from Monsters, Inc? <laughs> 2319! We have a 2319! <laughs> and this statue is parodied to probably the most famous statue in Disneyland of Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. It's Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette was a real life person who was decapitated. That's why she only has a head. And she's mad at 22 for making her a cake because there's a famous quote that everyone references to her saying, let them eat cake. But there isn't any real evidence that she actually said this phrase. That's why Marie's annoyed. C7HAN402 is theobrime, and that can be found in the cocoa plant, cacao plant. And that, gents and gentlets, is where chocolate comes from. <laughs> Often, but not always, Pixar likes to put an Easter egg to their next movie in the movie that you're currently watching. The next movie that they have on the books to release is the movie called Luca. If you look when 22 walks past the travel center, you will see a poster in the window that says Travel with Luca Airlines. And I would say maybe this is a time where they make a reference to the last movie that we just watched. You just watched a movie where two brothers run around with a pair of pants that came from a man who is dead. Died. Oh, 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 now in Seoul, we have a dead soul going into the great beyond without any pants. Let's check out 22's secret clubhouse though. There's a pink flamingo, which could be a shout out to Pixar short Nick Nat. That train in the background is also the train from Disneyland. There's also an Easter egg in here that we all know for sure. And that's of course the Pixar ball. Then on the name tag walls, there's several famous people that are known to Pixar who are no longer with us. Like Joe Ramped, who is a voice in many characters like Heimlich and Bugs Life. And here is Jack Kirby and Joe Grant. Then if you're a real big fan of Coco, you might want to get a tattoo. When we go to the barbershop, Curly has a photo of him with his daughter and Bunny. Then let's check out the different types of hairstyles. This guy right here is the stockbroker. And maybe, just maybe, the certificate on the wall is the Pixar ball and we just can't see the blue stripe because of the angle. And then if you look at this vehicle, you'll see Retlaw. Retlaw is an Easter egg to Retlaw Enterprises, which was a company that the Walt Disney family owns. Retlaw is also Walter spelt backwards. And Walter's full name is Walter Elias Disney. Walter Retlaw. Here we have Vandana's Kitchen. Vandana Reddy Sarabratni, sorry, is a lighting artist at Pixar. Murray's Hat Shop. Could be a shout out to Dana Murray, the producer. A lot of these Easter eggs we won't know 100% for sure unless Pixar comes out and confirms them, which we know they're gonna milk it for decades. Then if you pause at just the right moment, you will read Murray's piano tuning services. Of course, in the credits, they give special thanks to Kiel Murray. And that little dot right there is the Axiom from Wally. Then remember in Toy Story 3, we found out Sid was a trash man? Well, there's the dump chuck. Also, there's the Aztec pyramids from Coco. Then if you zoom in real close right here, that's A113. I don't get to do this very often. Okay, so first of all, I wanna say thank you to the members for supporting the show. We greatly appreciate it. Also, let's be real, Crazy Nate probably missed an Easter egg. <laughs> so if you found one that he missed, make sure you comment below what the Easter egg was, and I'll make sure he posts it and gives you credit for finding the Easter egg. Also, don't forget to find the five hidden Easter eggs so you can win your own PlayStation 5 and the video game Overcooked All You Can Eat. And if you're linked to the video and you missed the contest, maybe you should click the subscribe button and then the bell. Duh. Then you won't miss our next contest. That's complicated. 
And until our next adventure, let us know what movie you want to talk about next and you could get a shout out. But until next time, remember most importantly of all, Ginch and Jet, let's share, smile, they are contagious. It is scientifically proven. Hey, share a smile, they're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? That would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.